All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Christian Sanchez Art Show, where everything is half-ass, except for the drawings. Um, This is my, my station, I guess, here. I'm kind of sitting on a stool. I got table set up. Uh, my supplies, Timmy's, uh, some coconut water, which is gone, some snacks, just, I don't know, good old peanuts, unsalted, because I'm trying to be moderately healthy. And, uh, yeah, my setup for my groovy selfie stick. Alright. So, this is, uh, my reference material right here. I pretty much always work from a laptop, unless, uh, it's a smaller drawing, then I might even just work from my cell phone and sit on the couch while watching Walking Dead or something of that nature. But for bigger drawings, anything that I would put down on a table, such as this one here, I will work from my laptop. Anyways, this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how I draw fur and to be specific how I draw short fur short haired fur on a on a dog such as this one um this technique is it kind of works for you know longer hair a little bit you know but you'll see what I'm doing and I'll just kind of show you what uh what my strategy is if you will so I'm just going to plop this in here without dropping my phone okay i think we're winning Okay, so I don't really need to show you guys the reference because, you know, hopefully you just get the gist from the drawing, like, you know. I'm sure there's better drawings in the world, but I like to think that I give a, you know, pretty good quality as far as um, realism goes. Um, granted, it's, it's charcoal. You can get really hyper-realistic with graphite just because... It's easier to get in tiny details with graphite because it doesn't just break away and turn to dust. But uh, but I find with charcoal anyways, you can still do pretty good. I, I try not to mix the mediums just because, I don't know, It's I, I like giving a pure, you know, medium. But uh, anyways, there's nothing wrong with mixing it up, you know, it's just whatever you want to do. I choose not to most of the time. Um, yeah, we'll get to it as soon as this thing will... Hold steady. I'm trying not to curse right now. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this and it makes some kind of sense in terms of perspective. Sorry, I know it's angled. Um, deal with it, please. Okay, so decent lighting, camera steady. Hope we're all good. I'm gonna try and get this closer so you guys can really see. Okay, so basically a lot of it is I build up a layer, you know, like an undertone. You know, up here it would have been darker, same with here. And then, um, yeah, like, like this isn't even done right now. I'm still kind of working it in. But how I work is, you know, I give little dashes, you know, like I'm basically drawing hairs. But technically I'm not drawing hairs, I'm drawing the blackness between the hairs or behind the hairs. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll end up kind of like smudging it, but also giving it stroke just to keep on giving it a direction, if you will. Sometimes I'll come in and, for example, like up here, it's, I might just sweep an area, just make it smudged where... Maybe I don't want you to see so much detail, because the mind will kind of fill in the rest, you know, like... The way charcoal works, it's it's very grainy when you put it down. So, it's, it's very unnatural, I guess, looking, you know, in terms of hair. But, you know, like, I'll add to it, you know, and then that's, you know, I'll smudge it out. And the thing is, like, then it's not done. You've you've kind of just only added a layer. Now, let's say some of this stuff I gotta lighten up. You know, like uh, this edge here, I gotta lighten up. I'll, I'll tend to do a lot of things in fine strokes. Nah, uh, this is just my eraser here. Um, you kind of need a kneaded eraser because it works the best. It's cleaner. Um, you don't leave like little eraser dust in it everywhere, and you can make an edge as you need it, like so. So yeah, I'll make little hair strokes, if you will. 
There's obviously whiskers, but I'm going to do that with just a white charcoal uh, pencil. And maybe later on, I'll, I'll show you how I do that. I'm not going to do it right now. Ah, you know what, screw it, I'll do it right now. But, yeah, anyways, this does not work that good. Like, as far as filling in with white, if I draw over it, I'm not going to get white. You know, I'm going to get, like, a slightly off-white, but it'll be brighter. It depends on how you use it. The way I go over the paper is I kind of I, I twist it as it's going, because otherwise, otherwise it tends to load up with black, and then you end up just smearing a gray. But if you keep doing this, you end up getting a lot of the white off the pencil and onto the paper. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. So looking at my reference, there's a whisker that kind of comes off of this little black area, if you will. And it's... Or sorry, looking closer, it's not one whisker. There's one that kind of wisps this way, and one straight in behind it that kind of comes out of nowhere and goes that way. So we'll try and mimic that. But yeah, you'll notice that I'll kind of twist as I pull it through. And there we got a nice white mark. There's one that kind of comes in behind, and we'll twist again. See how we did that? And then we'll, might as well just keep on doing this. One here. And now they all kind of start swooping downward. One here. And see, now it's, it's not prominent like that last one that I did, but it doesn't need to be. It doesn't matter. You know, like it's, it's there. Like it's, it's actually surprising just how much the, the brain will fill in the gaps. You know, as long as there's enough detail or information, I guess you could say, or not even like enough, but the right information. Like I'm looking at the reference here, and it's, it's darker here, so I'm building up that tone. You know, and sometimes I'm going like against the grain, or I'm going with it, but it's kind of on that same axis. Just depends on what I'm doing. Like with this, if I go this way, you know, it kind of gives me that. If I go the other way, it gives me that. It doesn't matter because the thing is, it's again, it's just one layer. You're gonna be erasing and building up again and whatever, just because you know that's kind of what hair is. It's it's all layered. You know, you can't just expect to go one and go and then it's done. You know, we'll build it up. But yeah, this uh, this is tedious. It takes some time, you know. It's once you kind of like come to terms with that, it's actually pretty relaxing drawing this stuff. Um, I'm only gonna keep this video at ten minutes because I don't wanna, you know, I don't want this to be too long to watch, and you'll you basically get the gist of it. But yeah, looking at like looking really closely at that fur. There's like light fur, there's kind of medium gray fur, there's kind of stuff in the whole spectrum. Like, and there's even like some really dark spots, you know, where there's, you can kind of see through the fur, you know, and there's just really dark areas, so we're going to get those in there. And I kind of just push hard and, you know, charcoal kind of like, kind of gives some resistance, like there's a lot of friction with the paper, so I kind of just work it off and you can kind of hear it. Maybe you can hear it. I don't know if this mic is picking it up. Like I said, uh, Christian Sanchez art show, everything is half ass except for the drawing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do little bits like this for all the drawings that I do, so nothing's really going to be planned, but if I'm working on something that, I don't know, I feel like there's a unique technique that I'm using or whatever then you know so yeah I just put some charcoal down but now I gotta smudge it out because real real life doesn't look the way you know pencil puts it down I guess like you gotta blend it everything's always blended like I've, I've been over the same spots quite a few times now but you know, building up these layers. And I mean, here's the other thing too with hair, is that, you know, unless this dog is like pro-groomed, it's not all going to be perfectly going the same way. Like, 
you know, like here some hair is going that way, but then the next hair might be going just at a slightly different angle. So, you know, that's kind of the beauty about drawing realism is that, you know, trying to be, trying to make things perfect works against you. It kind of does the drawing better if you just, it does the drawing better if you just let the hand kind of go at it. You know, don't go for anything too accurate. Unless, obviously, it really calls for it. You know, like, uh, I'm going to go in and put in the dark in the nose. You know, i got to be really accurate with that. Because when I do that, I'm defining boundaries and specific shapes. Shapes and realism really matter. Or proportions, if you will. Like, if, if this all was misproportionate, you know, if it just looked off in a way, then the mind can pick up on that. Like, even just a few mils, you know, it doesn't take much. Like, when you look at something, you've seen realistic stuff. Like, you live in a 3D world, so you know what things are supposed to look like. If something's just a little bit off, you know, your your body or your senses can pick up on it. So things like proportion really matter. But, you know, is my mind going to know that this hair here is supposed to be black and this one's supposed to be white? You know, no, it's not. It's going to look at the whole. And so all these little details, you know, they just... Don't worry too much about it, but just build up the layers and yeah, have fun out there. All right, this video is already too long. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna keep on going a little bit, just because I feel like you didn't even really see anything. So yeah, this area we built up a tone. So then uh, you know I'm just gonna go in like this. You know, just, actually I don't like the hard pencil sometimes. Sometimes I prefer something a bit softer, just because. I don't have to push down as hard to leave a mark and by not pushing down as hard that means that it's not pushed like you know like what do you call it like pushed into the fibers of the paper like you can still blend it really easily and work with it you know it's very malleable I guess you could say I guess that's the right word but yeah like I said sometimes I'm going that way sometimes I'm going this way you know realistically the hair is going like up the bridge of the nose and kind of like curving off you know, so I kind of keep a general sense of direction. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be smudging it anyways. You know, but yeah, up here, the tone is kind of light. Here, you know, I could probably build up the tone a bit more, I guess, even. You know, so I'll go in with this one. This is a, a dirty one that I keep using because I know it's got some charcoal built up in there. I'm able to, I'm able to build up a tone like this. I'm not too worried about being super accurate, but I mean, I definitely don't want to go and like smudge way over here because, you know, just choose an area that you're working in, kind of know what you're dealing with and go at it. Like, don't try and draw a whole picture at once. Work on a little area. Like, he saw I was working here for a while. Now I'm going to work on the bridge of the nose and get it to look the way that I want. And then I sit back and I analyze the whole thing. And uh, look at if it all works together. If not, maybe this needs to be darker, this needs to be lighter, or more detail here, more detail there. You know, you look at that after the fact. It's really hard to not get tunnel visioned. Like, actually, if, if I feel like the drawing's just not working out for me, or if I'm not having fun, or if I can't really spot what the issue is, like, maybe I just can't get it to look the way I want, or something just keeps looking off, then... I'll step away from the whole thing and uh, go do something else and then look at it with fresh eyes. That that solves it 60% of the time, every time. But yeah, and then over here, the hair starts to brush the other way. Like, and even this, you don't even need that much before you can start blending. <laughs> You know, just right away I'll use the other end because it's a bit fatter. But you can see kind of what it's doing. Like suddenly those grainy strokes that I made, you know, it's smoothing them out. It's making them look a bit more authentic. Like I'm building up a layer of hair. And then I'm probably going to lighten it up a little bit maybe. Or just smudge it some more. And then it'll be too light and detail will be lost. But there will still be that layer of detail. And then we'll put another layer over top of that. And then that creates the effect that we're looking for. 
I'm not. Yeah, the, the, this part I need to be too accurate. It's like it's gonna be darker for no matter what. Like it's or not darker, but I mean it's it's gonna be covered with my next strokes. You know, there's no need to stress when it comes to fur. I try not to use a lot of white chalk because I find it looks un unnatural. Like it's almost too bright. I'd rather you know use just the the light tones of the paper kind of shining through. You know, but in terms of like hair like this, like that's just a nightmare. But yeah, so I'll take something that's maybe a bit cleaner, you know, maybe we'll try and smooth some of this out, lighten some of it up. See, like, here, it's it looks like it was quick, quickly done, which it was. And then over here, you know, up along in the ear, if, uh, you know, it's... It looks like you could actually pet the thing, you know, like it'll, like it has a texture to it, like something authentic that you could feel, you know how it feels just by looking at it. Uh, here it's still, you know, new, like looking at the picture, it needs to be lighter. So what I'll do maybe is quickly I'll make an edge, you know, that way it's kind of like gives a bit, but you know, I'll be able to fan some of this charcoal off and make it light again. And that will allow me to build another layer. So then just what I did, I'll take some of my charcoal pen and just start doing that again. Just a little bit at a time. Maybe shorter strokes, you know. Maybe my strokes are too long before. Sometimes short strokes are good. You know, maybe just I'm just dabbing. I don't know, building in those dark spots. You know, but no matter what, I'm always going in the direction, more or less in the direction that the fur is going. You know, and then maybe I'll use my finger just to smooth those out. You know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll do another one of these, maybe when I get into the long fur on the body on the, the dog here. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you feel about this video, and if it helped, if it didn't, if you think I'm fucked up and doing something wrong, you know? I don't know. I like the results I get. Maybe there is a quicker way to do it, but uh, this way it's kind of been working for me, and, and yeah. Anyways, enjoy drawing out there, people. Talk to you later.